Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A point source of light is placed at the center of a glass cube. A refractive index of glass that is mu, and what area of the cube must be covered to prevent the source from being seen? He neglected the subsequent behavior of totally internal reflected ray. And dimension of cube is a. Here we have given four options. Option A: 3 pi a square by 2 into bracket mu square minus 1. Option B: pi a square upon 2 into bracket mu square minus 1. Option C. 3a square and option d 6a square. Here, what says the question in the cube that is the glass cube and here the point source is put exactly middle in the face. Okay, middle in this cube. Okay, it means height of this uh, point from the upper surface that is a uh, a by 2. Okay, so let us we have redraw this uh, diagram. And consider this is the front face, and here is the object. Okay, and then we have taken the concept of total internal reflection. In that case, here the light rays glaze to this surface. Okay, let us consider this surface area that is R, this is H, and consider this angle is theta. <coughs> okay, in the case of total internal reflection, in that case sin theta is equal to 1 by mu because mu the refractive index of this glass is given that is mu and what is the sin theta here sin theta before we have to find out the sin theta we have required hypotenuse so h square equal to r square plus h square then h equal to root r square plus h square so here in the place of sin theta we can substitute perpendicular what is perpendicular r and here the hypotenuse is uh, r square plus h square equal to 1 by mu okay now <coughs> mu r equal to root r square plus h square squaring both the side mu square r square equal to r square plus h square here transposing the r square to the left side now here r square get common mu square minus 1 equal to h square okay so here r square equal to h square upon mu square minus 1 then r can be written as h by root mu square minus 1 okay so here what is the area where the glaze the rays that is area equal to pi r square so here pi here h and root mu square minus 1 whole square so we get mu h square upon mu square minus 1 but what is h here h is given exactly the source point source that is exactly middle in the cube means a by 2 now substitute this value then area is equal to pi a square and here by 4 and mu square minus 1 but in the question we have given that which part which area is covered that object will not seen it means 6 part 6 here this square part 6 part we have to cover so 6 pi a square by 4 mu square minus 1 where object is not seen so 2 to the 4 2 3 the 6 3 pi a square upon 2 into bracket mu square minus 1 okay so it is very important things here it is the q and here only circular part we have covered six phases and then we can't see this point source object i hope so you understood this question hello students i am ajay karmarkar before starting video i would like to tell you something please sit with copy pen if you find somewhere important, pause the video, 
note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A cube at temperature 0 degrees Celsius compressed equally from all sides by an internal pressure was applied. The bulk modulus of the material of the cube is beta and the coefficient of linear expansion is. Here we have given four options. Option A, P by beta alpha. Option B, P by 3 beta alpha. Option C, 3 pi alpha by beta. And last D option, 3 beta by P. As we know that bulk modulus beta is equal to P V upon delta V. Here we have taken here minus sign. Here minus sign shows decrease in volume. Okay. So here it can be written as del V upon V equal to minus P by beta. Minus sign can be neglected because here no use of uh, negative sign because all options are positive. So therefore it is not necessary to have taken minus sign. But it is very interesting things in your expansions, linear expansion denoted by alpha, surface expansion denoted by theta, and volume expansion denoted by gamma. Here we have studied in thermal expansion. And what is the relation between this alpha, beta, gamma? That is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 3. It means beta is uh, 2 alpha, here gamma that is 3 alpha. Okay, so here volume expansion, volume expansion, what is the formula of volume expansion? Volume expansion equal to delta V upon V into delta T. Okay, here very important things, here beta is bulk modulus, but here uh, we can take sign V, okay, because it makes to confusion. So, therefore, we have denoted beta B. Okay. So, here volume expansion gamma equal to delta V by V into delta T. So, gamma into delta T can be written as delta V by V. So, substitute this value gamma delta T equal to P by beta. So, delta T equal to P by beta into gamma. And what is the relation? Here gamma is equal to 3 alpha. So delta T equal to P beta and 3 alpha. So let's see which options matching here. Here P by 3 beta alpha. Yes, here B option is correct. I hope so. We understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help. In your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.